Now onto this. David Higgs has swapped his chef's hat for a bike, but he's cycling no further than his living room. Yep. This is, this is it's just incredible. The co-owner of Johannesburg restaurant, Marble and Saint, is trying to raise money to help his staff during the lockdown. Of course, he joins us now via uh, Skype to tell us more. Indeed he does. Uh, David, you chatted to our colleague Sally Burdett uh, just after 7 o'clock or after 8 o'clock last night. You'd started cycling 360 kilometers at around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And for those who don't believe us, I checked in late last night before I went to bed. You were live on Instagram. You were still cycling. When I checked at 5.30 this morning, you were still on your bike. Tell us why you're cycling 360 kilometers during lockdown. Hi, Marcel. Hi, Tony. So, actually, quite emotional. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's such a. We find ourselves in such a difficult time. Uh, the entire hospitality industry, you know? And I guess the least I can do is try and look after my own team. We've got 300 staff members, so. You know, it's a uh, takes. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of people, and they still look after all their families as well. So basically, what we've uh, what we've done is we've taken my book, Mile Eight, and uh, you know, we're not asking for donations. Essentially, what we're asking is people to buy the book, and we'll give full proceeds to to our team. You know, who helped us build Marvel and Say. So yeah, this. This little venture is uh, 360 kilometers for 360 books. I think we got 30 books by 10, 10 o'clock last night. We had to only sell 30 books to make our target. So I'm hoping this morning that we that we'll uh, that we'll get there. Uh, uh, David, it's it's amazing, and I can understand uh, that you are getting emotional. I mean, you, you you've been going at this for uh, a long while now. But the but, but the good thing is you're almost about to hit the 300 kilometer mark, which is just going to leave just, you with 60 k's. Have you just done that? I just have, yeah, just on the on the button. <laughs> How does it feel? So yeah, I got 60 k's left, but it's a hard 60 k's. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much reward. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you feeling strong still? I'm okay, actually. You know, it's, uh, I've had trouble eating, um, but I have been drinking a lot of water, and a bit of juice, and some stuff. So, uh, yeah, I just got to push on, and you know, I've done this loop four times already, so it's the last time now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, so, so just very quickly for those who aren't serious cyclists or uh, fanatics like yeah. you are, you're, you're busy cycling with a few other people, aren't you, with this online uh, platform yeah. called Zwift or something. I've only learned about it from following you during yeah. the lockdown because yeah. you are a very ardent cyclist as well. Explain to us who else is cycling and how you guys are staying in touch. Yeah, so it's, a, it's the most incredible platform is Zwift. You literally can cycle with anybody around the world. You can cycle in New York City. Uh, you can hook up with friends that live elsewhere in the world, and uh, and everything. You got you got a trainer, and you got your laptop, and essentially when you're going uphill, uh, you can feel that you're going uphill. <laughs> so it's all sort of calibrated to the road surface. It's quite crazy up to the road uh, gradient. So uh, yeah, it's uh, just to give you an idea. In the last three. 100 kilometers, I've climbed 6,000 meters straight up. So vertical six kilometers. Wow. So it's, quite a, it's been quite a hard ride. <laughs> and you've got a few other people cycling this 360 k's with you? I have. There's, a, there's actually 122 people riding this. And a lot of them are doing the ride for SA Harvest, which is uh, an incredible, incredible organization that basically collect usable waste and then uh, re reuse it into uh, a feeding scheme. And then I've got two guys, Stuart and Ash, two friends of mine that, uh, that are riding with me. And we just stay in touch on this platform. You can actually see where everybody is and it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
It's fantastic stuff. I, I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you're just cycling a couple of kilometers for me is absolutely it's difficult. Exactly. <laughs> just, you know, so but Dave, David, bef before we let you go, um, you've got a very uh, close link to cycling and somehow you've used that also to develop quite a few youngsters here in Johannesburg who've also ended up on some of your staff at both um, Saint and Marble. Uh, talk yeah. to us a little bit about that connection through your love of cycling <coughs> and how you've used that to develop some young people in Johannesburg? Yeah, there's an incredible project out in Dipsworth called the Dipsworth Mountain Bike Academy. And uh, we set up a little kitchen there with the help of uh, Brian Joffe. And uh, we use it as a feeder for the restaurant, you know. So when we see a bit of talent and a bit of good attitude, then we try and grow the guys and, and then bring them into the restaurant from there. So I think to date, we've probably had about 15 come through the door. Not everybody has stuck it out, but I've still got a good solid eight with me, and also a lot of them are at Stain City. So, yeah. Well, we can only wish you everything of the best. Um, eating with Thank heart, you. I think, is probably what we'd call what David Higgs does while yeah. he's cycling. Um, all the best. We will keep track of um, your efforts today, and it sounds like that 360 kilometers is just in touch. And for those who want to contribute to this amazing effort, you can just go to Marble's website uh, to purchase one of those beautiful books of his uh, or follow him on Instagram, where he's also been giving people a lot of advice of what to cook and making more interesting things out of whatever's in your fridge. And you know what? I love, I love why he's actually doing this, because, you know, your, your, your staff in restaurants, your waiters and so forth, they only get a... Uh, in some restaurants don't even get a basic so they just survive on tips lockdown for what now uh, uh, how many days a lot of those guys have no money whatsoever coming in so it is it is fantastic what David is actually doing it really really is I just I cannot wrap my brain around 360 kilometers